into main training now. So training with the group, which is uh, really exciting for me. Most of the summer has been sort of in the rehab group. Just building my fitness up, um, getting my muscles conditioned um, for the season. You want to be out there with the boys, learning, um, training, getting better. And when you're in rehab, it's just sort of, um, you're just handicapped a bit in terms of um, your improvement as a footballer and just building up your fitness and um, getting ready for the year. So I guess frustration is the main thing. Um, you just want to be out there because um, you're here to play football and when in rehab because of an injury, it just stops you from doing that. And so it's this one, my left groin. Over the past couple of years, played a lot of football and it just sort of caught up with me a little bit. So just needed that time to strengthen it up and get it back going again. So I think I've turned the corner now, so I'm optimistic about the, about the season. One thing about Hutch, he's always going to put in the work. So a bit of a delayed start to the year for Hutch, but we know he's putting in the hard work um, in the rehab. He's out in the track at the moment and, and getting everything out of every session. So hopefully uh, over the next few weeks we, uh, we get some more minutes into him and um, he'll be putting his best foot forward for, for Waffle and, and hopefully we go from there and get him back in the team. Brady was a uh, sort of run with Tiger type player in his AFL career and that's sort of something that I um, picked up the last few rounds of last year. His experience for him to pass that on to me, it's probably the most unique thing. Um, he's, he's only a short time out of the game as well, four or five years, and he had a lengthy career, so he knows what it takes to play AFL football. And I guess like if you can have a coach that has experience and um, can pass on that experience and sort of articulate it in the right way, um, it's a big help for you as a player, so Brady's really good at that. When you're in rehab, you're just not as training as much. so. Your body doesn't need as many calories, and you're not burning as many calories, so you can't afford to eat the same way you do as if you were training um, all the sessions or if you're playing games. So you do need to reduce what you eat because if you do eat too much and when you come back into training you find yourself a little bit heavier and um, you put yourself at risk of doing another injury because you're heavy and your joints aren't used to it and your muscles aren't used to carrying that weight. It's not just a diet, it's a preparation um, in all aspects, so um, making sure you other parts of your body are still staying strong and not wasting away while you're looking after one part. So you really need to tighten it up because um, in rehab you've got to sort of tick all the boxes even more so than if you are fully fit. So yeah, it's something that I um, didn't really mind doing because what I want to do is to get out there and play football. So I don't really see it as um, too much of a hassle. Splendid tackle, Hutchings. Got to be ball after a wall goes back. Uh, beautiful tackle. Yeah, we, we saw last year from Hutch, he's able to play a few different roles. He, uh, he played inside mid, he played outside, and I think everyone knows the last five or six weeks he was really influential for us as a run with player. To play AFL and to play good AFL football, you just need to be out there and you experience it and you need to learn for yourself. You can't substitute experience and um, being out there for yourself, learning off the best players um, from the other teams and just being uh, in front of the crowd and just giving that opportunity um, by the coaches really helped my football, I thought.